Hi, everyone. There we go. Um, not sure how many fans of the Hitchhiker, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy are here, but uh, I will risk Ford Prefect's observation uh, that humans have a tendency to state the obvious repeatedly. So I'm going to state the obvious and mention that as humans, we get, we get bored very easily doing mundane routines. No surprise. The unfortunate side effect is that when we get bored, we also get distracted. And the dangerous aspect is that one such mundane routine is when we are sitting behind the steering wheel at 90 kilometers per hour. And distractions are indeed the leading cause for a car accident. They account for 80% of the car accidents worldwide. Moreover, we are provided today with vehicles that actually perform certain functions on their own. And why should I, as a human being, babysit a vehicle that can drive on its own? Well, I'm sure that for you guys in the audience, the answer is very clear. Vehicles today can't drive on their own, yet at least. So how do we address it? Obviously, we need to help drivers. We have to monitor them and remind them whenever they are distracted. CPA is an in-cabin sensing provider. Just like Mobileye is the external vision of the vehicle, CPA is the internal vision of the vehicle. We provide a driver monitoring system to detect drowsiness, distraction, uh, the actions that are dangerous to perform while driving, and also an occupancy monitoring system to figure out what's going on cabin-wide. Briefly about us, before we dive deeper into the subject, uh, we are about 50 employees headquartered in Israel, and uh, to date our driver monitoring system was selected by five OEMs to serve in 23 different vehicle models. Uh, we are in, with three of the OEMs, we are already in serial production. For those who are not familiar with the driver monitoring system, and especially a vision-based driver monitoring system, which is what we offer, this is how it looks behind the scenes. Uh, we have computer vision algorithms analyzing uh, infrared video, and infrared means that we can monitor the driver under all lighting conditions. Uh, you can see that uh, the system detects my facial cues, eyelids, pupils, infers the gaze direction, Phone head pose, detected. and with the assistance of a second layer of algorithms, which belong to the realm of human factors, we translate the visual cues into the physiological state of the driver in terms of the level of drowsiness, distraction, distraction which happens right here behind me, um, uh, and the actions that the driver performs uh, while they drive. In this example, I allow myself to pull over to simulate my fel myself falling asleep simply because it's too dangerous to drive alert. with my eyes closed. Driver and you can see that the system picks alert. up on the eyes closing, head drooping, and detects the uh, drowsiness, the, uh, me be falling asleep. We also track the gaze in high level of accuracy into different locations of the vehicle, which can not only help manage distraction and prevent false alerts, but also improve the human machine interface thanks to the vehicle's realization of where the driver is looking. With the uh, proliferation of level one and level two vehicles, we also witness in the market misconception by consumers, and I alluded it, uh, to this misconception previously, that they can allow themselves to alleviate the attention they pay to the road. Um, this is, of course, very uh, uh, dangerous. The question is uh, uh, what we can do uh, to assist uh, the drivers. And the next uh, level of safety, a safety level up, if you will, is actually the combination of these ADAS functions that control the vehicle with the driver monitoring system. So for example, when we have vehicles with level one equipped with adaptive cruise control or say, lane keeping assist, once the vehicle detects uh, the driver is drowsy or, or distracted for a prolonged period of time, the vehicle can take over using these systems, the adaptive cruise control and lane keeping assist, keeping the driver safe and other road users. In level two, we have functions such as traffic gem assist and highway driving assist. 
The danger is that people tend to over-rely on these, automation complacency. And with the driver monitoring system, we can verify that the driver is fully attentive to the road as long as they enjoy the automated functions. This is also coming to safety standards. Uh, six months ago, your NCAP released its update to the safety assist assessment protocol, which will enter into effect in January, January of 2023. And this assessment protocol calls specifically for not only driver monitoring and warnings, but also for vehicle intervention in case the driver is impaired. And Consumer Reports plans to reward vehicles, L2 vehicles, at the full safety rating only if they employ a driver monitoring system as well. So I'll revert back to my human nature and state the obvious or something that should be obvious to everyone by now. A vehicle that is equipped with both ADA system and a driver monitoring system is a safer vehicle. Where can we take it next? Allow me to top it off by hosting both systems on the same component. We're very proud of our partnership with Mobileye that essentially offers to the market the driver monitoring systems hosted on the Mobileye IQ ADAS chip. So you can get the benefit of both ADAS and DMS working seamlessly together to keep the driver safe, to address automation complacency, the intervention required by Euro NCAP, and offering a cost-effective solution because instead of having two separate components, two separate systems, everything resides to together on the same hardware. It also opens up the uh, uh, future potential for fusion, further fusion between the systems where the driver monitoring system can be even smarter by understanding the external context of the road. Because when I drive in urban setting and I have moms with strollers and scooters and uh, um, lots going around, my attention needs to be everywhere. When I drive on the highway, I need to be focused three, four hundred meters ahead of me in, uh, on the, uh, um, sorry, the center of the lane ahead of me. So this external context can improve the system and offer truly the next level of safety. Uh, we have a, a booth here uh, with a vehicle, a demo running in it. You're more than welcome to come check out our driver monitoring system. And with actually two minutes to spare, I leave the floor open to questions should you be interested. Thank you very much.